Thanks for tuning in our video demo of the Thermoscientific Phenom XL Generation 2. I am Luigi and we are in the Phenom headquarters in Eindhoven and this is the Phenom XL, the desktop electron microscope designed for automation and analysis of multiple samples with high throughput. The 10 by 10 cm sample holder allows to load a very big sample or 36 different samples at the same time. The sample holder stage can be lowered by up to 4 cm. Loading a sample in the sample holder is extremely easy. You can collect your sample with tweezers and slide it in the design holes inside the plate of the sample holder. The sample height can be easily adjusted, but if you forget to do so, worry not. The microscope is in fact equipped with a system that will prevent you from loading a sample that might damage the detector inside the tool. To adjust the sample height, you can use the wheel at the front of the tool. One working distance can be used for all the detectors that are inside the microscope, so you won't need to further change it during your analysis. We're now ready to load the sample holder. And we can close the door from the user interface. As the door closes, the loading procedure starts. And the first thing that we will see is an optical image of our sample with the integrated navigation camera. We can use this image to select the sample that we want to image on, and we can start zooming in so that we can get a clearer view of the sample itself. When we are satisfied with the position where we want to image, we can click on the load sample to move to the SCM area. By clicking on this button, we start the pan down procedure. The Phenom XL is one of the fastest electron microscopes in the market, and it only takes 40 seconds to create the vacuum that we need to start imaging the tool. After 40 seconds, when we are in the vacuum, we can start imaging right away with all our detectors, and we can have access to the full magnification range of the tool. So we can go up to 200,000 times and achieve a resolution of 10 nanometers. Whenever the sample is under the electron beam and we acquire an image, we start automatic focusing and contrast brightness adjustments so that the first image that will appear on screen is ready for acquisition. All you will need to do is select the area that you want to scan by clicking on it and clicking the acquisition button. This way, the image is stored on your drive and you can later access it. Extra information, such as the chemical composition of the sample, are also quickly accessible thanks to our Live EDS functionality. By clicking on the Live EDS button on the right, we actually activate the option, and then we can click on the sample to start an EDS analysis. The spectrum acquisition is displayed on the bottom part of the screen, while the chemical composition of the sample analyzed is displayed on the side. Whenever you're done analyzing the first sample, you can use the optical image that we acquired before to quickly move to a different position. We can show the image again by clicking on the arrow on the right side of the screen, and then we can zoom in the optical image and select the position that we want to move to. The stage will then be moved so that we can start imaging the new sample, and we can quickly adjust contrast and brightness with the automated function that we find on the left side of the screen, or if preferred, you can switch to the manual functionalities. Settings such as voltage, current intensity, or magnification are easily adjusted directly from the data bar. In the bottom part of the screen, in fact, you see the magnification, the voltage, the current intensity, and the detector used for imaging. By clicking on these values, we can actually quickly select a different preset value. More advanced settings can be accessed by the drop-down menu on the top part of the screen. Here we have a bit more control, for example, on the frame averaging or on the parameters that are used for the acquisition of the image. We also have an advanced menu that we can access with the password, where even more options are available. And the system can be further customized in the settings page. Additional information on the sample can be achieved by using the ProSuite. 3D roughness reconstruction can be used to create a scan of the sample and check the roughness of the surface. With one button, 
we can instruct the tool to use different quadrants of the backscatter detector to create shadows on the sample surface. These shadows are measured, and by using a technique that's called shape from shading, we can create a 3D model of the surface that we can use to inspect the sample, navigate it around, and eventually trace roughness profiles. As soon as the model is displayed on screen, we can move it around with the right mouse button, or we can trace a roughness profile with the left mouse button. We can quickly switch between software on the right part of the screen. Within the EDS software, we have access to different scanning possibilities, for example, the fast EDS mapping. By clicking this option and selecting the portion of the sample that we want to analyze, we immediately get a distribution of colors that highlight the presence of a specific element in different parts of the sample. In this case, for example, we can see a distribution of silicon in yellow, aluminum particles, and in blue, the silver that's creating a stripe on this solar cell. Repetitive tasks can be automated by using our Pro Suite or by scripting Python commands that can be sent directly to the Phenom. The Phenom Excel, in fact, offers you access to the API of the tool, which means you can send direct command via software. If you're not familiar with Python scripting, worry not, because our team of software engineers can help you customize your software solution to do exactly what you need to do. This will, of course, release a lot of time from your operators that can dedicate their attention to more pressing and important tasks. Examples of automation procedure include particle detection, pores detection, sample characterization, and coating analysis. Multiple images can be analyzed and acquired by the tool in a completely automated manner, and the report can be generated to resume all the results that were acquired during the analysis. Thank you for joining this demonstration, and if you have additional questions or you want to have a look at your sample inside the Phenom, please contact one of our sales agents in your country.